Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you a story where one of my junior colleagues was creating an application where there was a list to be shown in one screen and when he clicked on a button, he will be taken to another screen where he selected some checkboxes. Selection of those checkboxes would create a list in the first screen. Now, he was using routing for that case. He was facing a lot of problems there. What were those problems? And why did I suggest him not to use routing? Let's find that out today, right now. Hi guys, this is Angular Coder. I am your host today for routing and when to use it and what other options are there where we can use there in Angular. Angular is a single page application. That means whatever you are seeing in UI is coming from the single page, right? As you can see in our screen, there is this address bar which you are seeing right now. It contains a different path, right? When you write a path, if Angular is a single page application, what does that path mean? That path is taken by JavaScript to know what component is to be rendered in UI. That is what routing is in Angular in client side. This guy was having a parent, let's say the path was product page, as you can see on the screen. And then when he clicked on a button, he was taken to another screen. He was selecting some checkboxes. Let's say that path was select inside product when he selected back those items should be populated on the screen as a list using routing there is a issue now when you use routing you know in angular you have to write a router outlet and in router outlet you know that there is nothing you can pass as input at the rate of output so you can't do any parent child communication at all you can transfer information to child component or the component which you are loading through query parameters as you can see on the screen you can add these things but you can't transfer information back to parent or even you can transfer information back to parent again through query string but that is too tedious or too complicated now when to use routing as i was telling this example this idea might have come to your mind also you should not use routing when you are transferring a lot of information between parent and child you can use services to transfer information from child to parent or from parent to child but there is a catch before we talk about that we should know why routing is used and why routing is very powerful if your application or your web application or web app is going to get loaded from some external hyperlinks you should use routing or if user is going to refresh the page the routing will help to bring the application back to same state but if you don't have deep links or when we see deep links, basically a state in your UI where all things are rendered and a perfect state where you wanted it to be when person clicked on hyperlink. If you don't want that, if you don't require that, you should consider not using routing there. What thing you should use instead of routing there is basically you can do a parent child architecture and then so or hide UI based on NGF. In that case, you can use at the rate of input and at the rate of output from child to transfer information to child and from child to parent. This would make life really easy for you and others who are working with your application. That guy was facing problem because he created some service and the observable he wrote was misbehaving. Also, he was having some kind of memory leak in, here, in the application. And then when he subscribes to an observable, he should get all the input from product page to the selection checkboxes. That creates a lot of complicated code to be done. You have to write replace subject, which we'll talk about. And in memory leak, we can, you can see this video, which I have put on top right there. And there are, there are videos which I have created on component interaction in depth. You can find it right here. And also I have kept the link in the description. So if you see those two videos, you can get an idea that how you should handle component interactions. But you should think about routing only in case when you are going to use hyperlinks. That was the idea which I suggested him and that made his application very much more smoother. Try using ng if, if you are having some views, maybe have a, an array of views which you are going to have in your component and then load different components based on that ng if, instead of using routing when you have lot of component interactions going on. Now I create videos every Monday on very light topics like this, the videos will be short and I create videos on Wednesdays talking about general idea about being a software engineer or being in a software industry that can little bit give you idea and let me connect with you, provide my inputs to you in that. 
also i create a video on saturday which is going to be in depth on any of the angular topics so if you have anything in mind which you want to discuss about or ask me just put that in comment i'll try to answer there like this video obviously i will create the videos for you and to help you out as soon as possible thank you for watching i hope you have a nice day see you bye bye